Hey, Shalom. This is your brother, Yuanathan. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukar Kodash. I want to give Demolana to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth and sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This is basically a response to the Kahan uh, Tazamaz video. He did a video entitled, uh, The Lord Doesn't Owe Us Anything, you know, along those lines. So as we devote ourselves to the service of the Lord, right? My son, and thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Uh, Sirach 2. All right. It, it's going to come with tests. It's going to come with tough times. It's going to come with not feeling good in the flesh. A lot of the times. It is what it is. That's, you know, a part of the, the cost that we had to count. But as we devote ourselves to the service of the Lord, it's essential to remember that he is not in our debt. We're in his debt. The Lord gave his only begotten son for ours. We're in, we're in his debt. All right. This is a crucial perspective that you have to have. So, you know, uh, the priest ties mind his video. He likened it until the relationship between a waiter and a customer. All right. A waiter extends their service, carrying out their duties, you know, bringing the water, the straws and napkins, coming back and checking period. Hey, you need anything? Being alert in tune. With the needs of the customer. Not expecting immediate rewards. They're not expecting a tip in the middle of them doing doing the serving. They don't receive their tip until the end of the matter. It is only at the end of the service. When they have fulfilled their task. That they might receive a tip as a token of appreciation. Spot on. In parallel. With our spiritual journey, we're the waiter. Our service to the Lord and his only son, his only begotten son, the first he created Yahweh Shai, and then after that, everything was delegated to Yahweh Shai, and he, he did the rest. Our service to them is not immediately rewarded, and that's the problem with this damn place. Everybody wants instant gratification. No, we're walking a path of faith. And let me and the brother brought this out of his uh lesson, but I gotta read it too. Let me go pull it up here. Hebrews eleven. Hebrews eleven and one. All right, it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. OK, and then jump down to verse six. I want you to keep this in mind as well. But without faith, <clears throat> it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So while you're serving the customer, you're supposed to be on fire, uh, have Good energy, you know what I mean. You know, you know, you have a waiter sometimes, and they just they, you know, hey, okay, you need anything, okay, you know. But it's a difference when you have that that upbeat, you know, high energy waiter. You know, it might even throw you off a little bit sometimes. You're like, what? Okay, you know, you know, they're pretty cool. We got to be passionate, upbeat, and on fire for the Lord, man, for the serving that we're doing. All right, verse six again from the top. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. All right, so th that's the spirit we're supposed to be in. Now, obviously, I want to get another precept. Just to seek ye first the kingdom. All right. Matthew 6 and we'll just get straight to the point. Matthew 6 and 33, it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil. So like, yeah. sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Unless I'm going to see how it reads. In the NLT. So let me go to the blue letter here. Matthew 6 and 33. 
It says, uh, seek ye the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. Sounds like Zephaniah 2 and 3 to me. And he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. You know? So yeah, man, the Lord doesn't owe us anything, especially not in the midst of us serving. <coughs> so, you know, a lot of people in our walk, they, they, they've been doing it for a while. They might get to a point where they get a little restless. And their feathers get a little ruffled because they don't feel like things are going their way in the world. And then they start to have resentment in their heart. Then they, they, their spirit alters and changes. Now they don't move the same around brothers. Now it's, 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 you could you could you could just see it on them, and that's all because they're expecting their tip before the service is complete. It's, it doesn't make sense. They're expecting that you shouldn't be expecting your tip before the service is completed. So you know that waiter mindset is the mindset we should strive to cultivate. The kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is, is our ultimate goal. Desiring to achieve this spiritual state is what drives us forward in our journey. What we ultimately aspire to receive is not material rewards, but true riches that come from God, man. Something that you can't receive in this world. We're going to receive immortality, new bodies, which come, which entail uh, is is really an all encompassing thing because that would, those new bodies are going to come uh, supreme closeness with the Lord because we're not going to be able to sin. Just insight into all of creation, insight unto you know the mind of the, of the Most High at a higher level than we have now. These are the gifts of salvation. And dominion over the earth. So you got to remember what your true tip is. That salvation. And it's not always going to feel good here on this side in the middle of the servant. But this gift is infinitely more valuable than any earthly reward. Nothing amounts to this tip that we're getting ready to receive if we continue in the well-doing. So, you know, that was just uh, my little two cents uh, in response to the, the Priest Tazamaz video. Beautiful video. I advise you go watch that one. So, um, with that being said, and I'll probably put the link in the bio. But with that being said, I want to give all praise just once more to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahbashai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. I want to give Debalanus, the Apostles, and the Elders a great millstone. And I want to say shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. Write me the blessing of election. Be upon your house. Shalom.